Hi, welcome to our lesson six in physics for engineers. And now our lesson is about work, energy, and power. Our learning objectives are to understand work and energy, to calculate the work done by a force, to understand and discuss work energy theorem and kinetic theorem, to solve problems regarding the work energy theorem, to understand the concept of power, and solve problems involving power. Our topic outline, work done by a force, second, work energy theorem and kinetic theorem, and lastly, power. A significant difference between our civilization and that of the ancient is our extensive utilization of energy sources other than the muscles of men and animals. Many early advances in physics were made by men who were trying to understand and control sources of energy and apply them to men's tasks. As the study of physics has advances, Energy has continued to be a principal concern, playing such a crucial role that physics has been called the science of energy and its transformation. In the module two, we have discussed that displacement is the vector whose magnitude is the shortest distance between the initial and final position of the object while force is a push or pull. Force and displacement are the two essential elements of work. Work is defined as the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of displacement. And the symbol we use for work is capital W. And for force, we have F. And in this case, we will um, use the symbol S for displacement. The equation, this equation indicates that the unit of work is the unit of force which is Newton, times the unit of distance, which is meter, in international standard. So, one Newton meter is referred to or equal to one joule. And the same purple joule is J. So this symbol is in honor of James Joule and his research into the nature of work, energy, and heat. So this same unit, Joule, is also used for energy. So the definition of work does have one surprising feature. If the distance or the displacement is zero, the work is zero. So even if a force is applied, when that object is, does not move or does not change its position, even how much force you have applied, you have not, or that object does not work. So let's have an example problem. So find the work done by a force 35 Newton in pulling the suitcase in the figure at an angle of 50 degrees for a distance of 75 meter. 
So we have this figure and the given values. So we are looking for work. And the formula for work is force times displacement. So we have the force 45 Newton and the displacement 75 meter. But in solving work, this is the deal in dealing with this. Uh, this is the deal in working with work problems. So the force must be along the line of action of the displacement. So in this case, since we have the force 45 Newton directed for 50 degrees relative to the line of action of the displacement. So meaning we have to determine the component of the force along the line of action of the displacement. So in this case, the F cosine theta is the force or the component of the force that is along the direction of the displacement. So in that such case, we're going to use 45 Newton times cosine 50 degrees. Then we will multiply it by the displacement, which is 75 meter. Now, let's solve for this. And our answer is 2,169.41 Newton meter. Or we convert it into Joule, which is 2,169.41 Joule. So this is our answer in this problem. So next. So another problem. The weightlifter in the figure A is bench pressing a barbell whose weight is 710 Newton. In part B of the figure, he raises the barbell at a distance of 0 0.65 meter above his chest. And in part C, he lowers it at the same distance. The weight is raised and lowered at a constant velocity. Determine the work done on the barbell by the weight lifter during A, the lifting pace, and B, the lowering pace. So what's our given problem? Uh, what's the given in the problem? We have the weight of the um, the weight of the barbell, which is 710 Newton. So this is our force. And also we have our displacement, constant displacement in lowering or lifting the barbell, which is 0 0.65 meter. So we know that the weight is directed downward. So to maintain the, the weight at the hand, on the hand of the weight lifter, so the weight lifter must exert the same amount of force. 
so that he can carry the barbell. So meaning, our force here that is directed upward must be equal with the work or the, with the weight, which is 710 newton. Okay, so let's change the sim our symbol for the weight instead of big letter W. Let's just use small letter, I guess. Yeah. So that's it. So the weight is equal also with the force applied by the weight lifter. Then we have the displacement, 0 0.65 meter. Okay, so let's have our, let's find the work applied at the lifting pace. So work is equal to force times displacement. So the force being applied in lifting pace is 710 Newton. And the distance or displacement that made in lifting is 0 0.65 meter. So the answer is 400 61.5 joules. In part B, so the work is equal to force times the displacement. So in this case, our work is 710 Newton as well. And our displacement in this case is negative 0 0.65 meter. Why? Because in part B, where the, where the barbell is being lowered. Since it is lowered, the displacement is directed downward. That's why we have the, the, the direction for the displacement negative. So the work done at lowering pace is now negative 461.5 joules. Okay, so work is equal to force times the displacement. And we both, we know that force and displacement is both is both a vector quantity but work is a scalar quantity so meaning Scalar represent the magnitude. It has no direction. But we have a positive work, negative work, and zero work. So when force and displacement is directed at the, uh, is at the same direction, we're going to have a positive work. But if the force and displacement is in opposite direction, we're going to have a negative work. And when we exert a force and the displacement remain at zero, then we're going to have a zero work, a zero value of work. Now, let's try your understanding. Do this, check your understanding problem, and write your answer in the comment section.